Um, but you're you're actually the opposition critic for for energy and, and mining. Um, I want to get into that, but but first, I'd like to get into just a little bit about you, who you are. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm from the Elk Valley, <clears throat> beautiful part of British Columbia, the southeast corner. Um, we're the gateway from Alberta. We're the gateway from the United States. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've got that uh, role of welcoming visitors. But uh, we do that uh, through the communities that we've built. And the, those communities have been built uh, largely, mostly, on mining, mm-hmm. industrial, uh, forestry, like you mentioned. And uh, it, it, mining is near and dear to my heart. Uh, one of my first jobs was working up at one of the mines as a, as a laborer. Uh, when I was a young guy, yeah. uh, my dad had a job there. My grandfather worked in, he had actually had the first forestry uh, mill in Cranbrook. And uh, my great-grandfather worked in the old Collier's Mine in Fernie. So uh, the history goes back. I'm part of five generations of Kootenai East. Uh, I love it. It's uh, one of the most beautiful parts in, in British Columbia. And if I can be as bold and as unbiased as possible, it is the most beautiful place in British <laughs> Columbia. But, uh, yeah, I, I love the area. Uh, I know what mining has done for us in the last hundred years. I like to see that go for another hundred. Um, there's people that are opposing that, that view right now. But um, I'm uh, proud to say that I'm, I'll stand up against the, those, those, those people. But... Uh, the most part, I love the Kootenays. Uh, great recreation there, hunting, fishing, uh, golfing. We got 365 days of recreation, and, you know, world-class skiing there, snowboarding, whatever you want to do. It's it's all in the Kootenays. Yeah, I've uh, well, my, my family actually, we go up there once a year to go hunting up there, and it is it is beautiful, and it, it's yeah. one of those places you can go a hundred times. Uh, I mean, you can live there, and you step outside, and it's it's just breathtaking. It's, yeah, it's just that type of place. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> where I live in Cranbrook, there's 100 miles in a 50-mile radius. Um, so any day, on every, any given weekend, you can travel 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and, and, and see numerous lakes, landscapes, mountainsides. Uh, hiking is great. Me and my wife and my kids love to go hiking. You can do day trips or you can do week-long trips. It's, uh, it's, all, up, it's all up for grabs in the Kootenays, and uh, I'm really glad to be representing the people of the Kootenays.